Yes. Oh, there's there's some collisions oh, right now. Paulo Rodriguez, big dramas oh. over there in the back of the grid. What a way to start the BLS Cup. Who was that? That, that car number 45 was the one that got stuck there. Car 45 is Sam Grimes. Sam Grimes got stuck there and has now... The chicane. There is car number. Let's see if we can get the numbers of these cars. It's so hard to read the numbers, Gab. Oh, oh yes, I need mean, I mean, to... Unless the marshals tell them to pit in. That's right, and yeah. if they get a black and orange flag, consider it a uh, race over, over for you. That's it. Wow. But let's see as they cross. It's Sean yeah. Velasco in the lead, then Ben Grimes in second, Miko Maricela. Javier Harrison though, jumps into fourth place, Pamela Miranda in fifth, Steve Bicknell in sixth, Tom Don Ramos in seventh, it's Miguel Diaz in eighth, Gerald Bar. Yeah. That's Ferdy Raquel Santos. Now, I'm just, it was so hard to see in the beginning. Was Ferdy one, the guy that stopped and got rammed in the back? Was he the one that caused the pile up there or was he one of the victims? But is that car also bad enough for them to give him a black and orange flag? Well, I guess we'll just have to see. Look at it, I mean, it's but pretty. But it looks like, you know, he, he's running pretty well with it. it. It feels like the part of the bumper will tear off any minute now. But as for the rest of it, it seems fine. Well, let's hope for him that he, he doesn't get called in and the car stays in one piece. It's only usually when the car starts posing a threat to others, like uh -huh. something's gonna fall off. Okay, so let's check out the uh, Ben Grimes sets the fastest lap with a 126.96. We were um, we were seeing 123s, weren't we, from the other guys? Yes, the... we've been seeing 123s. It's interesting how Ben Grimes, which is for P2, is 120, and Sean Velasco and Nico Maristella is 121. So. I half mean, a second there. Half a second right but we, there. We also saw what happened in the first race where uh, Gino was like a second behind and then woke up and saw, oh, hey, hang on, what's going on here? And he sort of upped the pace yeah. and uh, lit the wick and all of a sudden he was back on. So I don't know. Remember, some of these guys are, are used to this race already that if they're ahead, just sort of don't push the car too far. You got a second race to get yeah. through. At the end of the day, you know, it's just the start of the race. We have so much more laps to go. It's all about consistency. But as I can see over here, some people are already trying to overtake. We haven't seen any really uh, wicked overtaking moves at all, have we? No, we haven't. You know, this might be the race. Positions have changed in the start of the race, but during the actual race, we haven't seen any sort of way out passing or aggressive uh -huh. passing, but... Yeah. You know, we haven't also hit the highest level yet of racing, which is the Super Sporting Class and the, uh, the yeah. Bridgestone Super Sporting Class. Well, the running good times over here. Um, Sean Velasco hit the 120s also, so he currently has the fastest time. You know, they're all more or less running within a second with each other. So this is going to be a very tight race for all of them. Yeah, I just want to see how far the gap is. The gap now should be two minutes, out two minutes, two seconds, third 0.335. That's the- 41. And that is Steve Bicknell. But it looks like he was overtaking, yeah. it seemed like an injured car. I don't know if that was just from our okay. camera angle, but it looked the we'll car We'll just have to injured. see. So that's car number 12. No, the car number 12 seems fine. It was a good, clean overtake. Maybe there was a bit of a foul up on the, upon entry or something, but yes, it's a clean, good overtake. They won't go straight into cement barriers. They have an opportunity to go through the chicane, but they will get a lot. Lumping it up. With the brakes, you can see the the cars moving with the with the, the the cars balance and everything. So they're they're hitting it pretty hard. Ben Grimes uh, gets the fastest lap of the race at one twenty three four nine. It is just like a hair length away from the three five three time of Sean Velasco. A hair length. Wow. Like literally, that is that is possibly if you were to cross a line at that distance and that speed or. Time which one? 49. And 49, 88 and 49. 88, oh, 88 and 45. Okay, 